Hi, Hi. you must be Robin. I am. It's so nice to meet you. My nice name is Janice, you. and I'm a social worker here at the division. Um, and I meet all of our patients, and my job is to make sure that we're learning about what's what's important for you as a family. One of my questions would be, how do I get my family to adjust to the gluten-free diet. What families appreciate is making these decisions as a unit. So involving every member of the family and to talk about what is and is not negotiable so that those limits are set. And then what that does is it allows conversation for the part that is negotiable and have it be a, a bit of a formal conversation so that it's almost that there's a consensus among the family and from here we go forward. Kids respond well to predictability. They want routine. They want habits. It makes them feel safe. Um, and so being diagnosed with celiac disease means that a lot of that might change. You're, you're used to the way your family sits down to have meals, or you're used to where you go in the cupboard to get the snack that you want. Um, you're used to the way your plate looks. And those are all things that are simple to us, but to someone who's of the preschool age or early elementary school age um, presents a feeling of comfort. Um, and so getting back to that as soon as possible after a diagnosis can be really helpful for that age group. You know, the important thing to remember is that over time this will become, it's a, it will be a family medical condition because a childhood medical condition is a family medical condition. I think that um, the most so important message that we want to impart on newly diagnosed families is that this is going to be manageable and that you're not going to be going through this alone. Hi, you must be Julia. It's so nice to meet you. My name's Janice. When you enter your teenage years, it's more about what other people's opinions are. So something that you might think tastes good, if, if someone else has already made a comment about it, suddenly you've decided it's not cool enough. Um, and so the issues tend to be much more about peer issues, talking about this to people, setting limits, feeling confident in the fact that you know you're making the right decision for yourself. So how do you feel about who knows? Is it something that you're comfortable with just your close friends knowing, or would you rather that your whole class know? I think I'd rather have just close friends know, because if the whole class knows, then it's like you're labeled. You're labeled as a kid with a food allergy. Sometimes I see teenagers wrestle more with who to choose to tell, and if I've chosen to share this with someone that's a good friend, does that mean I tell them everything, or do I explain it as it comes up? Again, it's an example of the, the teenager doesn't have control over having the celiac disease, so let's give them control over the parts of it that they have control over. Like, I don't really understand why I have to follow this diet. I mean, I'm not feeling anything now, so maybe I'll never feel anything and never get sick. So I think it's, re yeah, it's really easy to feel like, well, if I don't feel bad, then why, then maybe I don't need to be on this diet. When really, you don't feel bad because up until now you've been on this diet. What are some other things that you would maybe say to a younger child to help them feel like this is something that would be manageable? One in 133 people have celiac disease, so even if people don't know it, they really aren't alone. Teens and kids of that developmental age group have a less sophisticated way of, long, of doing the long-term analysis and seeing that the return for your investment comes years later. They want immediate gratification, which at a given point is going out for pizza with friends. It's easy to feel like, well, if I'm willing to bear the brunt of it and deal with one uncomfortable evening or two uncomfortable days, shouldn't that be my choice? Do you have my contact information? Yeah. And we can talk maybe in a month by phone. You have my phone number and I know your parents do too. Thanks for your honesty.